That cliché of a border derby ripping the form book up has been trotted out for years, and while Melrose managed to get their ninth bonus point win in nine games, the Greens certainly didn't disgrace themselves when they took on Scotland's best club side on their own patch. That said, the Rose scored all their four tries in the first half, the first coming from a drive to the line, with Richard Ferguson getting the touchdown. Ali Weir's boot kept the Greens in contention, but tries from Murdo McAndrew and this from Fraser Thompson put some daylight between the two teams before Grant Shields scored the bonus point try and sent his team in at the break, 24-6 up. If it was any consolation for Hoyk, they won the second half 14-6, scoring two tries in the process, both by Gary Muir. But the bottom line once again was maximum points for Melrose and still no win for Hoyk, although they've shown in the last two games that a victory for them is surely just around the corner. Typical lo local derby, it was pretty bruising and physical. Don't get as wrong as a lot to work on, but there's, there's certainly some positives there. We just need to put an 80-minute performance in and... and no, we're not far away. Uh, we've got some special players in this group. Um, it's as strong a Melrose side as I've ever played in. Um, and no, it's very happy it's going so well. So we've reached the halfway point in the Premiership and it doesn't get better than that if you're connected with Melrose. An unprecedented 16 points clear at the top. In National 1, Gala were 24 points up at home to Stuart's Melville but somehow found a way to lose at Netherdale in the shock of the day. Selkirk and Jed Forrest posted good wins, while Kelso were unlucky not to get anything out of their game against the league leaders. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.